Welcome back to West Virginia tonight. We have a special guest for our second segment tonight. I introduce none other than the good senator from uh, the state of West Virginia, Democrat Joe Manchin. Good to have you on the show again, again, Senator. Again. We're while. on statewide. We got a lot of stuff to talk sure about, do. but let's first talk about the effort you had within the past week, the hearings or the debate on the coal miners pension. We're going to get that pension done and we wanted to see if we could attach it to the bill that we passed out in government back up. And we got really close to it. That's a, that was a good place for us to put it. But then at the end, other people want to put other things on. They want to keep the bill clean, get government back open and running again. But I'm committed, and it'll be the last thing I do or the first thing I do when I get back. But we're going to get the, uh, the miners' pension completed. And this is not just a West Virginia issue. 87,000 yeah. miners are depending on this. Nationwide. 87 miners, 1,000 miners nationwide. And, you know, the average pension mark is $592. We're not talking about lavish pensions. These are basically a lot of widows. Yeah. It's, a, it's a supplement of their income they have from Social Security. It's all they've got. And, it's, and, and if we don't do something, it'll be basically bankrupt by 2022. Well, we're 600. trying to correct it, and we're going to get it corrected. We got the health care done. We're going to get this pension done. Yeah. Sure 600 you. bucks is actually a lot of money if you're retired, you're uh, a widow or widower, and you're trying to buy sure food is. and medicine. It, 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 it adds up every month. Let's talk about the other effort. One of the other big efforts you're working on is getting West Virginia remapped. I was at the Capitol this week during the teacher strike, and there were times I could not get a cell yeah. signal out of that building. I realize you have thousands of people. They're all using cell phones, but the bandwidth and the broadband in the state is terrible. Well, first of all, I tell you, if you, lived, if you lived in rural America or rural West Virginia in 1930, you probably didn't have electricity. FDR comes along with rural electrification. One of the mainstays, a staple for anybody in America should have access to electricity. That's the same today now in the 21st century for broadband, high-speed internet service, if you're going to compete and be able to be in this 21st uh, economy, 21st century economy. So $4.5 billion has been put aside for the next year, 10 years. It's a Mobility 2 fund. It's strictly for rural America. Well, I wanted to make sure that we were going to get our fair share. I know we're not connecting so many places because I'm everywhere in West Virginia, and I know when I can't connect, even cell service or Internet. So I start looking at the FCC maps. They're wrong, and I've challenged them. My office challenged them. We've proved they're wrong. We've stopped them from dispersing any money right now until the whole mapping system is reevaluated. So I'm asking every person in every part of the state, your county commissioners, your local authorities, if you're not getting connectivity, let us know. Let my office know. Let us fight for you and try to make this happen. Well, it's an economic development issue. It's, it's, you'd be hard-pressed to find a company that's going to want to move to West Virginia if yeah. the broadband and Internet connectivity is terrible. Well, people want to live and stay in West Virginia. They yeah. should have a right to stay anywhere they want to in our great state and be able to make a living. Let's talk about the other big uh, national news, and that being um, uh, the president declaring a national state of emergency on the border. Um, your thoughts on that and where this is going to go? Sixteen states have filed suit. Yeah, well, first of all, I agree with securing the border. We need to secure the border. Let the professionals come and tell you what's needed. The Homeland Security people, the border could, Custom Border Patrol, and there's going to be a certain amount of a wall or a fencing, whatever you want to call it. We know we need seven, nine, 900 miles of what they've told us. There's another 1,100 miles that we have to do with technology. Let's see what's feasible, what we can do. So I'm for securing that border. I voted for it, and I will continue to. We also need a broader immigration reform bill that basically if a child was brought here, and, and they're, they're called DACA, undocumented children that were brought here between the age of birth and five years of age. They're in our military. They're in our school systems. They're doing everything they can. Don't you think they ought to have a right to be a citizen? So that's the breakdown, and the president can work that out. But we'll get through this. I think he has a challenge on his uh, emergency because it sets a precedent for anybody declaring emergency for their own pet projects. We are down to a minute. we got to talk about a job fair coming up. Oh Mark boy. your calendars, folks. March 22nd. It's a Friday, correct? Correct. March 22nd, a huge job fair that you're sponsoring. 11 o'clock at the convention center. The Charleston Coliseum and, and Convention Center. Yeah. How important is this and what kind of jobs are we going to well, be talking about? First of all, about? we have over 150 employers looking to employ somebody. I mean, if every employer just put one employee, that's 150 new jobs. There will be thousands. And I'm telling you, it will be the biggest we've ever had. This is our 37th job fair. It's the largest one we've ever had. It'll be March 22nd. There'll be employers from all over the state coming looking to hire good West Virginians. So if you've got a job and you want to see if there's a better opportunity for you, come. If you don't have a job and you're looking for one, come. If you don't think you have the skill sets, come and we'll help you. If you don't know how to fill out a resume, come and we'll do it for you. Yeah. 
This so, show is seen, by the way, in all 55 counties in West exactly. Virginia. So folks from the far reaches, from the northern and eastern it's panhandles, a great time to come, down come to Charleston and see the new capital. Civic Center. Is that beautiful it's or what? The most, uh, I've been all over the country. This will rival anybody in any state, large or small city. It's the best of the best. Senator Joe Manchin, Democrat, you, West Virginia. Thanks for stopping by here on West Virginia tonight. And when we come back, we're going to have a look at your complete local forecast. Stay with us.